Hey guys, welcome back. Today is about education, more specifically early learning. Earlier this week, I unboxed these AR learning cards. Today, I'm going to have a detailed look at how to use them and to see if they're really any good. If gadget reviews, DIY projects, and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Alright, so the box is pretty bright and very gifty looking, something that will be very appealing to kids and which I think is the main purpose of it. It's by a brand called Digu and they have a QR code leading to their Facebook page here. On the back it shows steps to get hold of the app and a brief description on how to use it. Inside the box we have a paper packet which contains a user manual and an iPad stand which I'll come to in a moment. There was also supposed to be a carrying pouch but mine came without it. Below this we have the cards. At first look you can notice there are four different sets of color. Each set has 27 cards which adds up to 108 in total. The red ones are modes of transport, purple ones are fruits and vegetables, green are land animals more like mammals and the blue ones are fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds and insects. Now basically these are flashcards as you can see. They have a picture on the front and a name on the back, but the app turns them into a much more fun way of learning. So let's go ahead and download it. It's called AR Kaka and is available on App Store and Google Play for free. You can either scan the QR code on the user manual or simply search for ARKAKA. -A -A. It's quite a big application, about 350 MB, so make sure you have enough space on your device. Now you can use it on a phone, but an iPad or any tablet for that matter is much better because of its display size. If you have a stand for your iPad, well and good. If not, you can simply turn this green looking thing that came with the package into one. Just like this. Once downloaded, open the app and click on AR cards and the camera will open up. If you are using Android, it will ask for verification the first time. So all you have to do is point it at this QR code in the manual and it will start working. Now you can simply point the camera at any card and watch what happens. Crocodile. The animal in the card will pop up in 3D right away. Not just that, you can click on the animal to listen to the sound it makes naturally and make some of its natural movement, which is very close to the real to be honest. I'm pretty sure they have used real sounds. Starfish. Also, you can click on the speaker icon to hear its name, which is also shown in writing, by the way. There is a little play button on the lower left corner, which if you tap on, it will read out some information about the creature on the screen. This is free nifty. No wonder it is 350 megabytes. I mean, it has 108 encyclopedia entries stored. Now, if you remove the card from the camera, the creature will still remain on the screen. And now you can zoom in, zoom out, rotate it, and even take a picture of it with the surroundings. Check this out. Now the app was also supposed to allow me to take videos of the creatures still on the screen with the surroundings but I cannot see any option right here. I think that option might only be in Android. You know what, I have an Android phone so let's just confirm that. And yes, see you can see there's a video button here as well. So the Android app also allows you to take videos directly from the app. Oh, and you can use the front camera as well. The 3D mockups are pretty accurate to be honest. The dimensions of the objects are real, colors, shadows. All in all, for $20, this is a pretty good deal. One more thing I learned is that you can place multiple cards and it will recognize them simultaneously. I was also really curious if it was something in the cards or was it just the drawings that the app was recognizing. So I tried two things. First, I made a photocopy of one of the cards in black and white. And as you can see, it works. Now, if it works with black and white, I'm pretty sure it works with color too. Secondly, I took a clear picture of one of the cards with my phone and then placed that image on the phone screen in front of the camera. 
and that works too great now i can replicate and sell them for cheaper well that was pretty much everything you need to know about this my thoughts i think these are a great learning tool for small kids there are plenty of cards more than what you would usually expect from a beginner's book it's all in one package so you don't have to buy separate books for your kids younger siblings whoever you want to teach on their own they're pretty neat good quality cardboard flashcards and the app just takes it to another level the app is pretty informative you might come across some options that are still in chinese but for the most part it supports english very well it did hang once or twice on my iphone but on the ipad it is running perfectly so far i think it makes a perfect gift for small children i'll give it an eight and a half out of ten i'll also leave a link for it in the description box below in case you want to check it out you know what i was thinking i'll make a video which will show all of the 108 cards i think kids will love to watch that what do you think good idea let me know in the comments below that's it for now guys if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button below and while you're there don't forget to subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews life hacks and facts you can also follow me on instagram twitter facebook and instructables all the links are in the description box below click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my youtube channel for more and as always thanks for watching